and we're neighbors to the Darje family, so word spreads pretty quick in a small community. Yeah. Just a few phone calls and everybody's uh, willing to jump out and come get down, as you can tell. Yeah. The amount of people out here. A lot of people look at it as a job, but for us it's a lifestyle. It's just it's very it's just a part of us to, to do it. So, and I think most kids that were born into it continue. Oh, it's awesome! You know, it's it really helps the families out. It goes to show the support. The unfortunate problem is that it has to happen under such circumstances. It'd be nice if the community could uh, learn from this and do this more often, not just for uh, you know when when something unfortunate happens. It's actually very overwhelming. It's very, uh, our words are, we're very speechless. Come together and have it done within probably six hours. Like when I drove up here, I was in tears big time because this is something that my brother up in, I know his spirit is here with us, put it that way, because he'd be so proud of the community pitching in to help his girls. The many acts of kindness and our endless gratitude to everyone. We have been very blessed just by having you all here to share in this harvest. What if you got an offer to sell? I don't think I'd take it. No. No. It's our home. And like and like dad said, you know, like it's I was already that. gonna take it over. <laughs> it's just a matter of time though. No, we're lucky though. Dad has a lot of this set up. Good. Just yeah. gotta keep it that way. Everyone here starting rumors that, oh, the bank's gonna take it away. They can't do it. Lots of people probably think that we can't do it. And what do you say to that? They have no idea what we can do. <laughs> no idea. Learned lots. It's just too bad I didn't learn more <laughs> yeah. before, but I'm learning fast. Have to.